Are you good? Great. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We've got Columbus Group Head Coach Caleb Porter. Jacob, do you want to start us off with a question? Caleb, what was your message to the group after third straight shutout loss? That uh, these moments in our jobs um, are tough and they're not fun. Um, almost every guy in that locker room and our staff, we've been in these moments before because we're experienced, but it's not often and um, it's not fun. And I told them there's only one way out of it, and that's to keep working. Keep fighting, keep their energy up, stick together, us with them, them with us, them with each other, and um, that we're a good team. Um, we're playing other good teams, we're falling short. There's things to improve, of course. Um, right now, the psychology of some things need to turn because it's it's already a very difficult sport. Um, this game can be very cruel, and it eats up um, weak teams, weak players, and weak coaches. Because um, once you have a psychology that sets in, it's it's difficult to turn. Um, I mean, you saw the first 37 minutes was some of the best soccer we played all year. Um, that's the reality. We scored a goal, um, you know, the, the one Derek had, a couple other little moments that we had. If we score one of those, um, the whole game's different. Our, our psyche lifts, you know, we, we get that confidence, you know, and confidence and the psychology in this, this game, that's critical, you know. And right now, we just, we have to, we have to keep working to turn that. Because it seems like every half chance the opponent has is in, is in the back of the net. And every full chance we have um, somehow is not going in. And, you know, when you give up the goal after playing well and you're down 1-0 again, it's kind of like here we go again, right? And so we have to be strong. And we have to be men. We have to be professionals. Again, we have an experienced team experienced coaching staff. Um, we have good players. Um, there's 27 games left. We've got a lot of time to turn this around and dig ourselves out of it. Um, but the only way to do that is to stick together and keep fighting and keep working. When you're talking about turning the psychology, is, is that something you, you're seeing in the play right now that the psychology that you need to be there isn't there? Or is it more so kind of, like you said, when you go down 0-1 and the one shots are being blocked, that stuff can tend to be maybe a vicious cycle. It's when you give up the goal, you know, and um, because what I saw in the first, again, 37 minutes was excellent. Um, they were focused, they were sharp, our shape was good, our plan was good, we were executing everything, we were getting in great positions, uh, they weren't getting chances. Um, you know, for me, we looked like a team that was focused, ready to play, and doing everything that they should have been doing, honestly. And then you give up the goal. And I thought from there it rattled us a little bit. At half, we talked about it. And, you know, it's just kind of the way it's going for us. But, but we have to turn it, you know, and we have to make our own luck. Um, you know, we are playing good teams, you know. Um, so that magnifies some things for sure. Uh, but it's, it's a re results-based business. So we have to, no matter who we're playing, no matter you know what's happening that we feel is unlucky, we have to figure out you know a way to get an ugly win, you know. And and again, we have a lot of season left. I think that's the key. And I've got a good team. I've got good players. I got a great locker room. These guys all have character. And in a lot of ways, we find out our our culture that we built, right? Um, because there's a lot of choices you can make right now. And, you know, I could quit on the players. They can put put on me. They can quit on each other. That happens. Um, you see it in every sport. That's not going to happen in our locker room. And, you know, that's why we work so hard to bring in good guys with character to create a great culture. And, um, you know, again, we can turn this, but 
The only way to do that is just go back to work. You know. So, you know, for me, I'm going to be a professional like I always am. I'm going to be a man about it. I'm going to look at look you guys in the eyes, look the supporters in the eyes, and apologize for the results that aren't there. Um, I'm the head coach. Ultimately, um, I'm going to take the responsibility and blame for sure. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the head coach is responsible. Um, and I'm also going to be a pro, and I'm going to work tirelessly to turn this around with this group of players that I, that I know can do it. Thanks for the time, Coach. Um, you're talking about the psychology and the frustration. It looks like on, on the field, Miguel's been pretty frustrated over the last few matches. What's the kind of contributing factor to keep starting him over, say, as artists or maybe switching things up up front? Yeah, I think it's close. Listen, they're both, um, they both have different qualities, right? Miguel, I think his hold up play, and I, you saw it in like the first minute, you know, the little, little combination that him and Lucas played. You know, those are things I like. Those are things that I see in him. You know, I, I love his ability in the box. And, um, you know, I, I think there are times in certain games where we know it's going to be a, a tight, compact game, which we knew it was going to be. And it got more compact again because we gave up the goal. Um, you know, we need that little bit of central combination play. Um, but, yeah, I think Miguel's a good guy. Derek's a good guy. Yao's a good guy. They're frustrated because they want to score, and, and they're not. You know, they're not frustrated at their teammates or frustrated at me. Um, they want to get the job done, you know, for, for me, their teammates, the supporters. And when they don't, right, they get frustrated. And the, all three of those guys had some pretty good moments today. Again, um, you know, so always you saw the changes I made second half. I'm going to always look at different things that I can do. I thought that. Uh, different formation kind of helped us with two strikers and um, you know we got a few more crosses in where now we have an extra runner so those are things again I'll continue to evaluate and, and look at but I go back to the first 37 minutes I thought we were outstanding now what does that mean it doesn't mean you know same team same subs no changes it just means that's the reality um, but it's another game too that we, we don't score in those first 37 minutes but I do think it's a different game. We don't concede. You know, I, I really do. And right now, that's just the way it's going for us. You know, it's another kind of half chance, set piece. Yeah, you know, the, that's killing us. It's killing us right now. Um, you could see even with their lineup, the choices, not starting Ruan and Pato, how much respect they had for us and our group. And that meant they were going to make it a defensive game because the, the players that they opted for, um, you know, are, are more defensive types. And that's because, you know, they wanted to come in and they already wanted to kind of play for a, a point and sit in and hope for transitions and set pieces and, um, you know, and, and honestly it worked, it worked, you know? So I'm gonna evaluate everything. I'm gonna, it starts tonight, I'm gonna look at the film, honestly get back to work um, immediately. And, you know, we gotta turn it in this next game versus Kansas City. And also with uh, the substitutions you mentioned, uh, James came in. He hasn't had a, a ton of minutes this season, but he came in and he played pretty strong for the 40 some odd minutes that he was out there on the field. Uh, did himself or Zardes, did anybody show you anything that maybe puts them into a conversation where we've had the luxury of starting the same healthy people every match, but maybe it's time to switch somebody in? Yeah, I think, of course. Um, you know, I have a group of, of um, players that all have um, strengths different qualities and um, performance does matter just like results matter and <clears throat> if I'm not getting good performances or if I'm thinking that another guy is going to perform better then I'll always make that move I'm always <coughs> sorry guys no worries. <coughs> allergies mm. um, <coughs> my job is to win games and I'm always picking players to win games. Uh, coach, you go back to the first 37 minutes. You guys have. Oh, excuse you know, me. You're good. You guys have ample opportunities to, to take the lead. What was missing from, from your perspective? Was excuse it me. was it a pass? Was it somebody not taking a shot on time? Uh, take your time if you need it. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
I'm not going to rewatch it, but I mean, the Derek chance, that, that's, that's got to be a goal. You know, it's got to be on frame at least. Um, a couple other ones were, that were blocked. Um, a couple others we didn't pull the trigger, you know. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, is it, is it personnel? Is it training? Do I need to flip, you know, formation? Those are things I'll look at. But again, I like to play. It's just, you know, is there something we can do to flip a different switch? Okay. Did Tyler get his question? I'm so sorry, I thought you did. Sorry, did I didn't call you Hoffman. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, um, that's a, that was the question, right? Uh, yeah, it was like the, the missed opportunities within the first 37 minutes. We need confidence. I think that's the biggest thing, right? I mean, Miguel needs to get confidence, you know, and, and he's a young player. Not been a guy that's game in, game out, always in there. Um, but I also know I haven't seen, you know, in other games confidence in Jossie either. You know what I mean? So, you know, ultimately I need to I need to see um, them gain confidence. I mean, th this is a tough job, right? There's not many coaches that that can do what I do and people that can do what I do. It's a tough job. There's nothing worse than sitting up here after losing three in a row. Or being in a stadium with the supporters where they're disappointed, I'm disappointed. And if I wasn't strong, or if I wasn't a pro, or if I didn't know how to manage these moments, I wouldn't be in this league nine years, you know, and coach for 22. It's the same thing with players. It's not an easy job. You have to be mentally strong. You have to find confidence when things aren't going your way. And, um, you know, clearly we're struggling with a little, little bit of confidence some guys. Now it's confidence because lack of confidence because they haven't been scoring or you know is is do we need you know stronger mentality in certain guys in those positions. I think that's but you got Yao who's new to the league. You've got Derek who I mean we said it last year many times he's sometimes inconsistent with his confidence um, but he's improving on that. And then you got Miguel Berry, who, yeah, he's still trying to um, become a consistent starter in this league. Um, you know, so somehow I got to get more confidence in those guys. Last thing, um, Lucho hasn't been on the team sheet last couple games. What's it going to take for him to be back in the rotation or get playing time? Well, he's injured. He's okay. injured. Yeah, I, I would. He'd be on the team sheet. He didn't want to play today. But he's been injured for. He was quite. I think he was listed as questionable. How long will he be out? He's got a low back, low back, so that's why I missed the last two games. Okay. Yeah, he would clearly be on the roster. Um, he was on the injury report, right? Yeah, back. Yeah, it's questionable. Okay. I didn't yeah. see it the last time, but thanks. Yeah, no problem. No Good. problem at all.